Let's make it fair. Let's make it fair. Let's make it fair. Let's make it fair. Let's make BCIT fair. I believe that this concept of part-time studies, wonderful that it is, has been abused. It's just not fair. Some programs are run entirely with part-time studies instructors, like our program. So it's definitely, this is definitely a full-time job for me. There's this expectation that this isn't our main source of income is actually out of date. I am essentially uh, classified as a, a second-class citizen in, in the BCIT community. And as a part-time studies instructor, there's a myriad of uh, services that are not available to me or to my students. Well, most of us come from industry, and we have industry experience that I don't think the school is tapping into. And I find that often the other instructors in the regular programs are, are, are astonished to hear what our circumstances are. They're sort of up here and we're kind of just a part-time help, which doesn't seem right to me based on the wealth of experience we're bringing to the classroom. I think that part-time studies students aren't getting the full benefit from their instructors. They can't meet with their instructors after hours. There's, there are no office hours for part-time instructors. They don't get the full measure or the full benefit of somebody going on to uh, professional development. It seems a lot of the time we do put in is done for free to the benefit of the school. Uh, and sometimes there's a presumption upon us to do that. I'm not into this uh, profession which I've been in for 40 years because I want to become a rich man. I'm in it because I love my work and my students and in a day-to-day -day way I want to have that kind of personal satisfaction and I have these blocks uh, continuously. You know we had some great people who were working with us in the ISEP program who moved on to other schools where they did have that possibility of becoming full-time instructors with all the benefits that that entails. It is the impact on the quality of what we deliver to our students that is diminished and that is the worst part. The product you're selling is your teacher's instruction. It's the bottom line product.